We get hundreds of questions every year from operators about how to safely and most effectively use our line of chafing fuel products. We make a number of fuels and there are many different applications. To assist, we've developed a helpful reference guide that you can post in your kitchen or prep area. This guide shows you the application, recommended fuel options, heat output, and burn time. Let's take a few minutes to run through the basics. Always follow the equipment manufacturer's recommendations for the number of chafing fuel cans to use. Don't open the can carelessly. Open the can using an appropriate tool, like this large serving spoon. Do not move the chafing units with the fuel cans in place. Always make sure your units are in the serving position first. To light the fuel, use a long reach butane lighter. Don't use matches or a rolled up piece of paper and never light can to can. Don't hold a gel fuel can as you light it or touch it while it's burning. Unlike our wick products, gel fuel cans become very hot during use. Both gel products feature our smart can indicator that let you know when the can is too hot to touch. Don't place napkins, table decorations, table runners, or other flammable objects near your chafing units during service. At the end of an event, Extinguish the flame with the correct tool. If using a gel product, let cool for 15 minutes and dispose of the can properly. For more information and to get your free safety and usage posters, visit sterno.com.